We've been getting a lot of questions about how to add photo galleries and slideshows to your website using products like Juicebox, Wild Slider, and others. The problem is they force you to manually upload your files, which takes most of the easy out of WebEasy. I've found one uh, from a company called Syncoba, I believe it is, that um, is very easy to use. You create the slideshow online, add some code to your page, and you're done. So um, this is how you do it. To get started, first thing we need to do is open up our browser and go to syncopa.com. Uh, that's C-I-N-C-O-P-A.com. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, once you get there, you will need to log in and create an account. Um, very simple process. Give them a little bit of information. They validate your email address and away you go. Um, so once you do that and you log in, this is where you'd be starting out at and click the get started now. Um, they have a whole bunch of different types of uh, galleries you can use. Um, I'm going to, you know, for simplicity, I'm just going to go with this one here. I like the thumbnails down below. I'm going to choose use this skin. And there's all kinds of options you can change. I uh, might want to give it a, a, a name. Um, and give it the gallery description. You can change the size in the advanced area. There's all kinds of other things that you can uh, change. Uh, play around with it. You know, see what all the different items do. Nothing set in stone. You can always delete the gallery, create a new one. Once you have it set the way you want it, click Save and Continue. Now the fun part, time to upload your files. Um, if, you choose, if you click Choose Files, it'll bring up a dialog that lets you add them. Personally, I found it a little easier to just stick all the files for the gallery into a single folder. And you know, just bring up the window with that folder showing. Hold down Control A to select all those files and then drag it over and as you can see the program will just start uploading all the files this is going to take a little bit but I'll be back when it's done okay now that we've got all our files uploaded um, as you can see if you scroll down there all there you hit continue And you're, it gives you the opportunity to add captions, descriptions um, to the uh, to the galleries. Um, these are shots from some of the Fourth of July shows I've done over the years, at the same location. Um, go ahead and hit continue, and you're done. As far as the uh, creating the website or the gallery goes. Um, for WebEasy, use the iframe code that they give you here. As you can see, as soon as you click in it, it turns blue. Hit copy. And bring up your project in WebEasy. Um, you'll go over to the Insert and Modify tab and click on the custom HTML code. Right click on it choose paste um, if we paste the code in as is uh, you would have to publish it to watch it work um, go ahead and click OK place it on your page and then double click on it to get back to the beginning of the code here um, you'll see there's a source command here the SRC equals right after that quote type in H T T P colon. By adding that, we'll be able to preview the slideshow and see how it's going to look before we publish it on the internet. Click OK. Go to your Review and Tools tab, and let's bring it up in Firefox. And 
there's our gallery. It'll rotate through the uh, images, or you can manually do it, or you can come back down here to the thumbnails and work with the thumbnails. Looks like it's got a expansion feature there. Oh, once you pull your cursor away, it goes away. Um, how you put in a slideshow. If you ever need any further assistance, you can always contact us via live chat at webeasyhosting.com. Send us an email to support at webeasyhosting.com or check out the support page for other options at webeasyhosting.com. Thank you very much. Happy editing.